Hello and welcome to a bite-sized Unity tutorial. Today we're going to create the ability to pick up and put down objects in your game. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload and feel free to leave a comment or drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help me a part of this channel and you'll find tons of scripts and assets there too. You can also now join as a free member. Now on with the tutorial. So right here I have a little scene set up with a couple of coloured cubes and two very crude hands along with a couple of other things. What we're going to do is we're going to create a script that will allow us to pick up these objects and then drop them down again. It does require a little bit of setup to get things working correctly so let's do that first in our scene view. So first and foremost what we will need is an object that we can use as a trigger to know when we're going to pick up an object and also act as the target so as it is in our hands. Now to do that we are going to go to our player whether it is first person or third person and I'm going to put the target in between my two hands just here. So on that object let's add a 3D object cube and like I said this will serve as the trigger point. And if we go to our game view, that will roughly look like how it's being held. So I think that should do. Obviously, you take more time if you need to. I'm going to rename this to target. And I'm also going to tick is trigger on the box collider. And I'm also going to untick mesh renderer. The idea here is that the trigger object is always invisible so we can kind of see through it. Next what we need to do is we need to ensure that our objects that we want to be able to pick up have a collider on them and also have a rigid body on them. The reason being is we want physics to also be applied at the correct time. So these three cubes I'm going to select and then I'm going to go to add component, go to physics and rigid body. So now these objects are set up ready for us to pick up. We just need to code that script. So let's go to our asset window down here, right click, create, and either a C sharp script or a mono behavior script. They are both the same, so don't worry. And we'll call this pick up. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. So the idea of what we're going to do here is we need to detect if our trigger object is within the vicinity of an object that we can pick up. And if it is, we then need to detect if we're holding down the E key or letting it go. So in order to get this working correctly, we need to declare two variables. The first one is a bool to say if we can pick it up, true or false. And the second one is the target object itself. So we don't need the start method, so we can delete that. And let's declare our first variable. It's going to be a bool and we'll just call it can pick. And the second variable we're going to serialize field because we want to be able to declare it with ease in our editor. And this is going to be a game object. Remember, capital G, capital O. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it target with a semicolon. Next thing we need to do is beneath our void update, we're now going to have uh, those two methods that we mentioned on trigger enter and also on trigger exit. These are just simple methods that will detect whether we are in that range or not. So we'll start by going void on trigger enter open bracket. It doesn't need to be private, so we can remove that. And in between the curly brackets, we just need to put can pick equals true semicolon and then we do the inverse for on trigger exit so void on trigger exit open bracket again does not need to be private so we can remove that and this one is the inverse so can pick equals false now what we need to do is in our update method we now need to use some code that will detect if we're holding our E key down and we can pick up an object. And if we can, then we need to do some lines of code that allow us to pick up the object and move it somewhere else. To do that, we go if, and in brackets, input dot get key down, and in brackets, key code dot E. If you want to use a different key on your keyboard, you can. So if you want to use H, for example, key code H. Why you'd want to use H, I don't know, but 
That's just the example here. And then close bracket, and then double ampersand. So the reason we're having a double ampersand here is simply because we need this if statement to be two conditions, i.e. we need to hold down the E key and we need to have can pick as equal to true. So can pick equals true. And remember, it is double equals there. And then open curly bracket. So we've got our if statement set. What's the next thing we need to do? Well, we need to attach the object that we're trying to pick up to our um, actual target object. So we need to make that target object the parent of this object. And you'll see how that works in the hierarchy when we test this out. So we need to put this dot transform dot parent equals target dot transform. So that will make whatever object we're picking up the same place as our target object, which is in our hands. Next, we need to make sure that it stays in the right position. So we need to say this dot transform dot local Euler angles. And we need to make it equal to a new vector three. So we're declaring the position here of zero, zero, zero. So that's all it is. Zero comma, zero comma, zero. Close bracket, semicolon. Why do we do this? Because we need to make the object dead center of our target. Finally, for this section, we need to disable the is kinematic option in, uh, so we need to enable it when we pick it up and disable it when we drop it. So we need to say this dot get component and it's spiky brackets, rigid body, open close bracket, dot is kinematic equals true, semicolon. So these few lines of code will suffice perfectly for picking up an object. However, we also need to write some code when we want to put an object down. So that will be pretty much the inverse of what we're doing here. So we'll say if, and in brackets, input dot get key up rather than down, and we'll say key code dot e, then close bracket, close bracket, open curly bracket. In here, we need to unparent the object. So we can say this dot transform dot parent equals null, which will make it the highest possible place it can be in the hierarchy, i.e. it's not parented to anything. And then finally, we can copy this line of code just here, place it below here and change it from true to false and save the script. So just these few lines of code make up this script. That's all we need to write in this script to be able to pick up objects and put them down again. So if we go back into Unity when it has compiled, we'll be able to attach this script pretty much to any object that you want to pick up. So what we'll do first is we will attach it to those colored cubes. Let's start with the yellow one. So if we drag our script onto yellow cube and go down here, all we need to do is set our target, which is this right here. So if we press play now, we should be able to go over to our yellow cube and pick it up. Hopefully we won't have any problems, but when we've done this, we'll apply it to the other cubes and then we'll apply it to actual objects themselves. So let's go over to the yellow cube, hold E to pick up, and there we go. And now let's let go of E to drop and let's pick it up again. Let's drop it there, pick it up and drop. Nice and simple. So once again, the same can be applied to those cubes. So let's take the green cube, the pink cube, and let's apply the script to each of those cubes. You can see just how, how quick and easy this really is. So we now have that script on both of them. So with both selected, we can have the target set there. So once again, let's test this. Just make sure that we don't pick up all the cubes. We just only pick up the one that we're looking at that is within our range of our player. So let's try the pink one. In fact, let's try the yellow one, make sure that still works. Yep, let's do the pink one. Let's put that on top. 
And now let's do the green one. Uh, let's just drop that there. So it really is as simple as that. And if you've already got a scene set up and you just need to basically apply this script to everything, all you would need to do is just apply the script to, literally to the object. So let's take this teapot here. Let's add the script to that. Let's try it with this mug, this cup, apply it to that. Let's try it with the plate, apply it to that. Let's try with these stools as well. Just apply it to those. Then all you've got to do is just make sure that every object you have that script applied to, just set that target in place. And you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. It really is as simple as that. Once you've written the script, apply it to anything you want to be able to be picked up and you should be able to pick it up, put it down, no problem. Let's try this teapot. Oh, we've not applied a rigid body to it. So there in itself is the example of why this particularly wouldn't work. We need the rigid body. You can see here in the console, there is no rigid body. So a component, physics, rigid body. You could almost say that I planned that. But now we'll have no problems whatsoever picking up these objects. And obviously it can apply to literally any object in your game. So teapot, thank you. Drop it. Let's pick up this stool. Let's throw it down this hole. Lovely. Pick up this one. Let's put it on the table. Pick up the plate and drop it on the floor. And it really is as simple as that. And if you want this script, uh, I will leave a link in the pinned comment and the description if you want to go and download it yourself and use it in your game. I uh, hope that's expanded your knowledge a little and remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload and I'll see you next time.